Thanks for clicking on to the 12th edition of the Global Weather and Climate Report. It is Saturday, the 20th of August. I wasn't planning to do a Global Weather and Climate Report for today, but there was one thing that stood out and I thought I need to talk about this. It's quite interesting, actually. And, um, you know, yeah, uh, it, it doesn't make any particular difference or anything, I don't think. But when's the last time we've seen the Global average temperature below normal you know what's here for today according to the climate reanalyzer site this is off a i believe data of the gfs model and we have the global average temperature at minus 0 0.1 celsius could somebody tell me when that last occurred because i'll tell you what we've been talking a lot about heat dryness this summer and it has been very dominant across the northern hemisphere whether you believe in man-made climate change or you're a believer in the you know natural cycles and whatnot um there's no getting away from the fact that the earth or northern hemisphere has been warmer than normal but you notice here uh, we've got minus 4.5 celsius below normal in the antarctic minus 0 0.8 below in the southern hemisphere and then of course to counteract that we've got plus 8 celsius and plus 6 celsius in the arctic and northern hemisphere the tropics are actually interestingly enough 0 0.1 celsius below normal and if you look at this here we've got a large area of the united states below normal we've got below normal in france you know a Decent chunk of the British Isles, decent chunk of, of Russia, vast area below normal, India, Pakistan, Kazakhstan, Mongolia, eastern portions of China, Japan below normal, Australia below normal. Look at the large swathe of Central and Southern Africa below normal, and indeed below normal across much of the Southern, uh, much of South America, should I say. But we've also got a lot of hot spots around. A good part of Canada is warmer than normal. Much of Europe, especially within the Arctic region of Europe, we've seen at record breaking temperatures of late. Northern Africa, much of China, where we've seen temperatures in excess of 45 Celsius in places. All time record high temperatures being recorded in parts of the Baltic states, and uh, as well as that across parts of china as well so a very interesting temperature normally for today and the reason why i say it probably doesn't make a big difference is because you know things are running above normal you look at the august temperature anomaly here we've got um you know it's sitting at 0 0.351 celsius above normal if you can see here and uh, <clears throat> that looks uh, to me like a rather warm overall plant now Looking at the UAH temperature, I uh, haven't done this um, so far. I don't think I, I remember showing this, but it's at 0 0.36 above normal here for the uh, satellite-based temperature of the global lower atmosphere. And you notice here that uh, we've got a slight uptick compared to what we've seen in June in the lower tropospheric temperature here. But again, we're looking at the, uh, you know, the long-term trend we've seen these two peaks and troughs uh, after the period of 2009 to 2011 where it was actually below normal and that's the last time we really seen the planet below normal and of course if you go back to the 1990s and the 1980s we've seen um, a below normal uh, lower tropospheric temperature and also surface temperatures below normal but why is the why are we seeing the earth continuing to warm despite the la nina now of course dry conditions are enhanced in certain parts of the world because of la nina and in turn you get a, a warmer a, not only air temperature because land of course attracts heat and dry conditions and you've got that um, land ocean and atmospheric feedback process but we also see the continuation of warming of the northern ocean basins here and this 
tremendous warming over the North Pacific, the North Atlantic, and uh, you know that, along with the drought conditions across much of Europe, parts of the United States as well, has led to above normal uh, temperatures uh, within the atmosphere as well. So, you know, I'm not really kind of saying an awful lot. Um, you know, I'm not leaning towards either side of the global warming uh, debate, but basically just showing you what's going on around the world at this moment in time. It's interesting, of course, with uh, the cooling of the western portion of the Indian Ocean, that is, of course, a negative in the ocean, Indian Ocean dipole. We also have the uh, La Nina, where you can see warming starting to show up off the South American coast. And it's going to be interesting to see what takes place over the next 6 to 12 months. I reckon we are going to eventually see, if not neutral conditions, potentially El Nino conditions, potentially by the early portion of next summer here. And that can have a significant impact in terms of the rainfall distribution across our part of the world. We've had a prolonged spell of drier than normal conditions I believe, I'm a great believer in the fact that if we start to see El Nino developing, we're going to increase the rainfall across the uh, European continent here. And, um, you know, memories of drought will soon uh, fade, I think, um, you know, with time. Uh, you know, the atmosphere has, has a way of always balancing things out. While we've got extreme heat in one place, we've got extreme cold in other places such as South America, such as parts of the equatorial uh, region of Africa, for example. Uh, you know, there is always that balance here. And, you know, we don't focus too much on either uh, too much cold or too much warmth. Uh, you know, so I'm trying to show a balanced approach in terms of climate as well as weather um, in these videos here. So uh, trying to show you my opinion. I might not necessarily be correct. Uh, with with all that I say, I'm only interpreting what my understanding is of certain things here. So, um, you know, uh, there's a lot of people out there a lot smarter than I am. But certainly, August is running firmly above normal. And, of course, a lot of the reason for that is the very warm northern ocean basins here. But if you look at Twitter... We do have um, Maximiliano Herrera, um, who posts daily tremendous information with regards to uh, weather as well as climate stuff. Uh, this is a tweet actually by Thierry Goose that shows the tremendous cold that was seen, uh, I think it was yesterday morning, in several portions of South America here. And then uh, if you look down, we had an interesting... Um, spell of 21 Celsius um, being the minimum temperature, not just this morning, by the way, in Helsinki, Finland, but also I think there's been three, uh, an, unprecedented, an unprecedented streak of tropical nights this late in the summer in Helsinki here. So uh, I can't remember if it's uh, three or four straight nights where the temperature hasn't dropped below 21 Celsius. This, of course, is um, extreme temperatures around the world. Uh, Maximiliano Herrera, highly recommend you follow him if you're interested in global stats with when it comes to weather here. So look, Taiwan, another uh, record-breaking temperature in Taiwan. And this can all be attributed to the tremendous heat that is stacked up in the Northern Ocean Basin's tremendous rainfall in parts of... Uh, of Austria, or yeah, Austria, uh, we had some regions of Austria receiving over 200 millimeters of rain within a 24 hour period here. Also talking about extremely uh, high minimum temperatures in Slovakia of 24.9 Celsius, crazy stuff actually, uh, for any time of the year, never mind August. Uh, and uh, the heat has been pretty brutal actually across parts of China here. So um, yeah, temperatures are expected to hit uh, the 40s in parts of the Balkans in, in some uh, over the next couple of days here. So um, certainly a lot of things going on 
and I will endeavour to keep you posted as best I can when it comes to not just the UK and Europe, but across the world overall. Low pressure at the moment is dominant player. Uh, we are seeing wind, rain, showers, sunshine, but even in that sunshine, temperatures are fairly subdued further north, further south you go, the warmer it is. But I'll talk more about the UK and Europe in tomorrow's video. Hope you have a great rest of your Saturday. Bye for now.